Now, number 42, what is the major product of the reaction between cyclohexene with bromine in water followed by sodium hydride? Here we have cyclohexene. Okay, we're going to react it with bromine and water. So we've seen this reaction earlier in the video. We know that this reaction proceeds with anti-addition. We're going to get a pair of enantiomers. Now, both of these carbon atoms are secondary. So it really doesn't matter where we put the bromine relative to the hydroxyl group. What's important is that they're opposite to each other. Now, in the next step, we're going to use sodium hydride. Hydride is a strong base. And it's going to go for the relatively acidic OH hydrogen. So we're going to get an alkoxide. This is going to be another SN2 intramolecular reaction. Notice that the oxygen with the negative charge, it's in the back while bromine is in the front, which is ideal for an SN2, an intramolecular SN2 reaction, because this has to do the backside attack in order for this to work. Now this oxygen is going to attack this carbon, kicking out bromine. The end result is that we get an epoxide. Now you could show it this way if you want to, because this oxygen was in the back. Now an SN2 reaction occurred at this carbon, so we're going to have inversion of configuration. If we were to draw the other enantiomer, we would get this other product. So you can draw it this way as well, but because of symmetry, these two are identical. So they represent a single product or a meso compound. So that's the answer for this particular example problem. We get an epoxide. Now this is for those of you who might be interested in joining my YouTube membership program. If you type in Organic Chemistry Tutor in the YouTube search box and click here, it's going to take you to my channel. Now if you scroll down, you could find my Organic Chemistry video playlist. And in this playlist, you could see all the videos that I have available to those in my membership program. So for instance, if you look at this video, this is a basic introduction into organic chemistry. It's about 42 minutes long, but the full version is an hour and 42 minutes long. And that's accessible if you decide to join my membership program. But now you not only get that video, but you also get other videos as well. So like this video on valence bond theory, you get access to the full version, which is about 33 minutes long, compared to the free version, which is 10 minutes long. And you could see it here. I have another one, resonance structures, acids and bases, pKa values for acids, IUPAC nomenclature, Newman projections, chair confirmations with ring flips. Now this video is my organic chemistry exam one review. It's a quick review of the things that you'll typically be tested on in the first semester exam of organic chemistry. The free version is about 42 minutes long, the full version is two hours long. Now over here, this is an actual practice exam with multiple choice problems and free response questions. As you can see, the free version is only 42 minutes long. The full version combined is between seven to eight hours long. Now I have other videos on stereochemistry, specific rotation, SN2, SN1, E1, E2 reactions. I have a practice test on that because that's a topic that a lot of students struggle with. So the full practice test is about four hours long. Again, if you join the membership program, you'll get access to that video. I have videos on alkene reactions, alkyne reactions, 
and this is my organic chemistry one exam to review over here this is the practice test with about 85 questions as you can see the full version is six hours long the free version is about 43 minutes long in my membership program you'll get access to alcohol reactions free radical reactions and of course my organic chemistry one final exam review video the full version is about six hours long but the the first two hours are free this is the last four hours to find the first two hours that are free here it is right here at the top of the list so feel free to take a look at that if you want to know what you're getting if you decide to join my YouTube membership program